Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. From wherever you're watching me from, I'm actually extending a warm greeting and love from Ghana. My name is Michael Duxumon. I do real estate travel and lifestyle right on this YouTube channel. If this is your first time actually on this YouTube channel, please click the red subscribe button and be a part of this wonderful family. And to all of those that have been a part of this family from day one, I want to say thank you so much. I want to say God bless you for your contribution, your suggestions, and everything that you've been doing. I really appreciate it. You know, <laughs> on my previous video, um, I did a home tour and I was like, I don't really know the other name for a guest toilet, so people should actually help me get the name for a guest toilet. And just before you get to the kitchen, at the left hand side is the guest toilet. Um, the, the word toilet sounds a little bit kind of like off. If you don't want me to use that toilet in my next video, maybe you can just drop a comment there, other word to use. You know, right here is where some people get ideas and creativity, because in their mind, they think about two things. And I was amazed at the contributions that I had in the comment section. Um, people were kind of giving the name. Others were saying it's powder room, but I got a lot of it. A lot of people say it's powder room. I want to say thank you so much for your contribution. I really appreciate it. You know, no man is an island. And in that regard, no man is a bank of knowledge. We all need one another to actually help us push to wherever we're going to. And I really appreciate you guys. I really thank you for that, your love. And I thank you for your support from day one. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about mortgage. We're going to be precisely talking about how to buy your first home right here in Ghana with a mortgage. So stick and stay as we talk more about this. Okay, so to a layman, a mortgage is basically a loan given by banks or financial institutions to finance a property. And then since we're talking about Ghana, it's actually a loan given by banks and financial institutions to finance your home or property right here in Ghana. So there are types of mortgage um, that there is, but we're actually going to look about them. We're actually going to look into the home purchase mortgage. We have land acquisition mortgage, which is basically mortgage to help you buy a land. We have land, we have um, a home construction mortgage, which is basically to help you complete or to construct a home. And we have a home purchase mortgage but that is basically what we're going to look into in this video. So now, let's talk about the home purchase mortgage. How does it work? Say for instance, you, you see a house that you want to buy. You know, uh, prices of properties in Ghana actually depends on so many factors. It depends on the kind of house it is. It depends on the location. It greatly depends on the location. You understand? And it depends on some of the amenities the house has got. Or if it's a gated community, it depends on the ability in that gated community. So it actually ranges and it depends greatly on some numbers and factors. All right. Some houses could be um, as low as thirty thousand um, dollars or about fifty thousand Ghana cities for two or three bedroom to as much as one point or maybe five million Ghana CD and event. So it all basically depends on the number of rooms, the type of house it is, the location and, 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 and all that. So now let's talk about the mortgage. The interest rate is from 11 to 15 percent depending on the financial institution that you have picked to actually process your mortgage for you. And then you have 15 years period or more to pay for foreign currency and about 10 years a little less or more for um, CD currency. Now, someone is going to ask, what is the process of acquiring this mortgage? Good. Now, the first process is identifying the house that you want to buy. Identify the home that you, you want to uh, acquire. Okay. And then the second process is uh, negotiating terms with the home owner in, in terms of the price and everything. Negotiate with the, home, the, the house owner or the home owner. And then the third process is to, um, uh, to get an offer letter from the house owner. Now, the fourth one is to go straight to the mortgage institution that is actually going to process your mortgage for you. Now, somebody may ask again, what is the requirement or document that the bank or financial institution require from me in order to give me a loan? So basically, I'm going to be looking on my screen and then looking back into the camera. So pardon me, because I don't have it off uh, in my head. So, some of the documents that the 
mortgage um, banks will be actually be looking at for the financial institution is you need to complete their form of course yes you need to complete the form you need to provide one passport pictures you need to provide national identification card uh, and national identification card yes we could in include a passport driver's license or anything that actually um, uh, or any valid national identification card wherever you are and a proof of address which could include your home address, your utility bill, tenancy agreement, and all that. They also need a three month uh, pay slip, they need a three month bank statement, and most importantly, they need a credit report from you. So put all, put all this document together. It, they would look into it and then ascertain and tell you if you qualify for a loan or you don't qualify. If you qualify for the loan, they will tell you straight up, say, hey, you qualify for the loan, so you can go ahead and make the 20% deposit or whatever percentage deposit that you need to make, but at least 20% deposit that you need to make. And then for people that are self-employed, they need your certificate of incorporation, they need a certificate to command business, your three years most recent audited financial um, or management accounts, company codes, they also need three years of your your bank recent statement i mean for your company and you also need one year most recent sales record as well as evidence of business transaction so these are basically some of the documents that they require from you if you're going to actually um, uh, process a mortgage to buy your home in ghana okay so that is basically so somebody might ask so what are the advantages of actually um going for a loan if i can pay out straight up of course um there, there's some advantages of actually um going for a loan but if you have the money to pay for cash i mean why not you can go ahead and pay straight cash but what are the advantages of um, acquiring a loan i mean a mortgage uh, is that if I mean, if you have more than a hundred thousand dollars, and then maybe the home you want to buy is eighty thousand dollars, and you're a business person, you might not want to actually put all that money into buying that home for eighty thousand dollars or something. You might want to put a percentage down and use a mortgage to pay out the rest, so you can use your money to invest in whatever business you invest in, get the proceed, and then pay back the mortgage is actually is it that's also an advantage and then the mortgage company also does due diligence they make sure that the house owner is a legitimate rightful owner of the property that he's selling and if, if at the end of the day they, they find out that it's not legitimate they are also saving you some wahala they're saving you some 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 future trouble that you can actually fall into so they do the due diligence for you. And if everything falls in place legitimately, then you go ahead and acquire the property. That is it for this video. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay blessed.